Courage under fire as a leadership, right? We're always bombarded with, with, with daily challenges, fires that we have to put out. And we have to have that courage under fire to jump in and have those very difficult discussions and decisions and conversations. And sometimes we can be fearful uh, for that, you know? Having to fire an employee is a very fearful situation. You know, I've had to do it and I didn't, couldn't sleep the night before. How many have had to deal with that? You cannot sleep. That's a human thing. That just says you are human. But don't let that compromise, you know, the business uh, acumen that you have to maintain. And so don't allow that fear to, to control you. I heard a, a guy say one time, if there's no enemy within, which is the fear, the enemy outside can do you no harm. So let's continue to think about leadership in that way. You will get the link from us. I want you to watch the video. I really like that video. And actually, Harvard has an entire, you know, I'm thinking I need to look at some more of these. So there was a link that said it was video at harvardbusinessschool.org. I'm going to go and pull that up and see how many other videos are in there. You know, I'm certainly going to talk about leadership and other, and other things, but Let's maintain our need and our greed for this information because it makes us better. It makes us better. These contracting opportunities that, that Kerry talked about or the ACW talked about or Greg Mulder talked about, you know, they're really byproducts. We, we have to find ways to grow our business exponentially and being the leader of, of that group and making the right leadership decisions is what's going to help get us there knowing when to say no. Just because it's bidding next week does not mean we bid it. It doesn't mean you bid it. It means they've notified you that it's there. You still have to go through your own process. The whole, remember me talking about the go, no go process? You have to have that so you know whether or not you should be bidding it. And so as, as I close real quick, I, I implemented three words into my own process. That as I approach each day, when I wake up in the morning, I approach the day because I don't know all the time what's in front of me. But there are three things that I approach that day with. Every day. Poise, precision, and audacity. When I rise in the morning, not only am I running, as I told you guys before, but I'm executing poise, precision, and audacity. And if we do that, maybe you want to find your own three words. Those are mine. But find something that's motivating you every day when you wake up.